Hey everybody, welcome to Folktopia. This is my channel about making neurotic traveling, campers, and sometimes making and customizing gear. In this video, I'd like to share with you some of the small changes I've made to improve the DJI action camera in advance of a six day off grid rafting trip. Now, if you think about some of the other challenges that you'd face on an off-grid trip, the camera has to do some things that you wouldn't need in normal life. It has to transition from rafting to hiking. You have to be able to carry it with you when you're wearing basically a swimsuit. You'd also want to have some sort of protection from blasting the lens when it's powered off from the sun damaging the sensor. I think it turned out pretty cool. And if you stick with me to the end, I'll give you my overall assessment of how well these modifications worked. I'm starting out here with a couple pieces of scrap white oak. And I'm going to cross cut it into three equal pieces. All right, once that's all glued up, I've off camera put in quarter 20 threaded inserts to the top and bottom of the white oak platform. On one side, I'll attach the action camera's tripod adapter. On the other side, I can use the threaded insert to attach it to a regular tripod. So I'll use the disc sander and put a little bit of a chamfer around the entire top edge. I'm using an orange oil and beeswax finish to see how I can bring out a little bit of luster onto that white oak. The plate has a rubber backing and as that hits the leather it helps cinch it down. And I'm just doing some fine adjusting of how deep the threaded rod is in the threaded insert so that it rotates the camera into the forward facing position. Now the thing that I discovered is that I wanted to have a little bit of a pad on the bottom of the white oak. Here I am tracing out the shape on a big piece of veg tan. This is a pretty heavy, I think it's eight ounce veg tan. And it adds a satisfying thunk sound when placing on a hard surface. Cutting a hole for the opening of the threaded insert and gluing it with tight bond three. I decided to replace the leather pad with a couple layers of rubber from an old inner tube. Now we're on to some wet molding. Okay, I'm just going to start with this because the proper part of the mold to hold firmly is I'm molding the leather. So I'm just going to try and get a bead around it as fast as I can. I'll, I'll leave a margin around the entire thing. making the strap that I can attach to my belt loop. Thank you. 
and using some bungee cord to secure the leather protective case onto the camera. And here's what it looks like on my belt, trying it out for the first time. And here are all the pieces in action. On the left, a flat piece of lever with a heavy duty snap. The first experience I had with it was using the belt attachment to board the small charter plane that we used to fly into the wilderness area. And that was really nice because I could keep it next to me, I could access it, and I could put it away without having to stuff it into my pockets. Because we had to be ready to board the raft that same day, so I was basically in shorts and minimal clothing. The first day on the raft, I was wearing this leather belt that was keeping the action camera in place that was totally soaked. So that got taken away the first day. And I ended up using a carabiner clipped onto that leather loop and just clipped back onto my waistband. The little modifications I made were really good for doing selfies, taking time lapses, using it as a general camera, and were you know, kind of a unique and interesting conversation starter. So overall, I'm really glad I did it. It's a unique set of modifications that make it more usable for me. I hope you enjoy the video and we'll see you next time.